How to spot a Sigma male by how he integrates in society. Gather round Kaiju Pack for some more Sigma Soul sustenance. It's your boy Kaiju Kong. Guys, for those of you lone wolves out there, I'm sure you will understand when I say that school was a pain in the ass. The reason why I'm bringing school up is because that is the point in most of our lives when our Sigma tendencies first emerged. I'm not talking specifically about the classroom when referring to what I disliked in school. I'm talking about integration. If a Sigma male could do away with going to school, he would. Because for him, going to and participating in school means having to involve himself in a social hierarchy. And this goes against his way of life. A Sigma naturally lives outside the hierarchy and prefers to do his own thing without regularly getting checked on by others. Having to engage in the hive mind or herd mentality drains a Sigma's creative energy. But when left with no choice, a Sigma adapts and becomes a social chameleon. He understands that choosing to be a lone wolf within a hierarchical establishment such as school or work would make him stand out like a sore thumb. And he doesn't like standing out, especially if he will be made fun of. So for the sake of his sanity and survival, a Sigma will often look to join the first group of decent people he comes across. He isn't very picky as long as he gets to integrate into the hierarchy as quickly and effortlessly as possible. He will blend in to any social situation and has the ability to mimic and display either alpha or beta male energy depending on the people and the circumstances. Although he can be loud and arrogant, he often defaults to a calmer and more quiet demeanor. This makes him a mystery and hard to define by those around him. Another way you can spot a Sigma is by looking if he constantly changes his circle of friends. The Sigma male's propensity for introspection and self-improvement means that he is always shifting intellectually. Within a month, a Sigma male could completely abandon his previous mindset and shift to a higher or just different state of consciousness. This makes it challenging for a Sigma male to remain in any single circle of friends for a long period of time. What he often realizes is that he outgrows or no longer resonates with them. Because a Sigma seeks constant growth and never cared much anyway for the social hierarchy, it does not hurt his conscience to leave his current circle of friends to join another group. As a Sigma goes through this cycle, his charisma as a social chameleon is refined. He finds himself able to empathize and connect with a wider variety of people, whether rich or poor, old or young, athletic or nerdy, popular or outcast, etc. The next important telltale of a Sigma male is his humility despite all his capabilities. A Sigma would rather downplay his strengths and accomplishments, and prefers to let his actions and accolades from others speak for him. Often, during the first few encounters, strangers will underestimate him, and unless the opportunity presents itself, they will never get to see his true gifts and talents. A Sigma male is categorized as the so-called Dark Horse, the competitor about whom little is known but who unexpectedly wins or succeeds in the end. In fact, many top athletes are known to be Sigmas. Another nuance of the Sigma is relatable to many of you lone wolves, his ability to go off-grid. A Sigma male has a bullshit meter. This bullshit meter is like a gas tank that depletes the longer he engages in the meaningless hoo-hahs of the social hierarchy. Ultimately, he knows that everyone wears a mask, is never truly authentic, and only works for their own self-interests. To replenish this bullshit meter, the Sigma male needs time away by himself to do his own thing. And when he is recharging, he will not reply to messages, he will not reply to any calls. He could not care less if the world was ending. Now with regards to true friends, a Sigma male can count only a handful of people whom he considers his real friends. A Sigma has learned early on that majority of people will not be able to understand him, so he keeps his walls up and lets people see aspects of him that he wants them to see. 
This is another reason why it is easy for him to constantly change his circle of friends, because he never was his genuine self around them in the first place, and always felt a tinge of discomfort when around them. The people he trusts wholeheartedly are those who have proven over time that they respect his need for independence and are able to see him for who he is. Often these friends are sigma males like him, or are high achievers who are on their own path of self-improvement, and they feed off each other for inspiration and guidance. A sigma male can only be true friends with one whom he respects. As I have mentioned in a previous video, a sigma ultimately is a walking contradiction. He is the introverted alpha, the leader who would prefer not to lead, the action-taking thinker, the warrior poet, the silent storm. If you aim to grow to your full potential as a Sigma male, then subscribe and hit the notifications button to stay connected as a member of the Kaiju Pack. More videos are on their way. Also, don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment if there are any points I missed out on. These will support the channel's growth and help many more out there. And with that, this gathering is concluded. Take care, brothers.